on the left we have isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. Which is being in the fridge, being in the fridge, being in the fridge. Sodium nitrite. Which is a white solid. On the right we have hydrochloric acid. Which has also been in the fridge in the fridge. Today we are preparing isopropyl, isopropyl nitrite. nitrite by the action of nitrous acid on isopropyl alcohol. This nitrous acid will be made from hydrochloric acid its action on sodium nitrite. One hundred and eighty grams of hydrochloric acid are put into a flask which will go into the freezer. One hundred and thirty grams of isopropyl alcohol will be put into the fridge. I was given some Turkish delight by the cafe. That's 133 grams of sodium nitrite. That should have been 103 grams. I've removed 30 grams. Now, we can use our cold isopropanol to dissolve our nitrite. Because it's not dissolving, we're going to pour our isopropanol here and add our nitrite to it which that's not coming out but we can slowly add this yeah. it really doesn't want to dissolve And I'll scoop the rest of that out. Hydrochloric acid is in the separatory funnel. That will drip down onto the sodium nitrite in isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to start by opening the stopcock. This is now dripping slowly. should stop it from heating up too much but we do have an ice bath have the window open and an extractor fan running and I've shut the door to the rest of the flat got some potassium chloride and I'm going to make a saturated solution of this to wash and dry the product now we can tell that this is saturated because there is some solid at the bottom. Isopropyl nitrite is yellow in color. Yes, we've got 20. 
20 degrees in there. Going to let it cool down if I can. You can see that there is a yellow oily layer, and that is our product. And unfortunately, it's our product slowly decomposing, so we need to be fast. Decant the oily layer and some of the liquid to here. Here it is on top, slowly decomposing. I'm going to remove this lower layer, like so. Like so. Now I'm going to put the lid on, shake and vent very frequently. We can remove the lower layer. This here is our final product. We've made 63 grams of isopropyl nitrite.